Hello everyone, my name is Duke DeLuca, Commander of the North Atlantic Division of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. I want to take a few minutes to talk to you today about uh, the importance of the missions that the U.S. Army, the military, Joint Force, and the Army Corps of Engineers have in Iraq and Afghanistan, particularly Afghanistan. Uh, these wars are extremely important to our country. It's important that we succeed in them. Stabilizing a society and a country in Iraq, uh, a country that has uh, ex extremely valuable resources for our own nation and is a key player in the Middle East and will be, just as they have been for 3,000 years for the next 3,000 years. And our success there has been uh, very important to our national interests, our national strategy, and the security of our country. And most of you are well aware of uh, the importance of Afghanistan in the recent history of our country and threats to it. Planners, terrorists, and uh, malign actors who sought to do us harm planned and executed an operation to destroy the Twin Towers and attack the Pentagon simultaneously uh, from bases in Afghanistan. They trained there, they were educated there, they practiced their craft, and they prepared the mission. All this was done from Afghanistan, so it is definitely an important task for us to stabilize that country and society and allow it to grow in a healthy way the way other countries around the world uh, that we have helped grow in Europe, West and East, uh, and now particularly in the East. So the Corps of Engineers mission requires this, the assistance of scientists, engineers, project and program managers, quality assurance specialists, practically every skill set the Corps possesses. You are needed, and these missions are important to our country. They're important in and of themselves to help our soldiers because there are no existing facilities in Afghanistan for us to use. So we're building for our own soldiers, to be able to execute these tough missions, defeat a very determined enemy, and help to stabilize a society and create a country that can govern itself, protect itself internally and externally. And that's something Afghanistan has not ever really had. We can do it, but we gotta have your help. We also are gonna help build a state. And a key part of state building is the infrastructure that allows the government to function, that allows an economy to function, and that's the role that the Corps of Engineers is playing helping our soldiers and helping the society. You're needed because we have a gigantic expansion of our own presence going on and the building and construction that we're doing both for economic purposes in Afghanistan and for the purposes of establishing a capable Afghan National Army and police force uh, is a huge program. It requires a lot of people, a lot of shoulders on the wheel, and we have the skill sets in North Atlantic Division to help. You have the skill sets to help and I hope that you'll consider seriously joining our very important mission there and help those soldiers. Hello, I'm Christopher Yannick. I'm an Occupational and Explosive Safety Specialist from the Baltimore District U.S. Army Corps Engineers. My mission here is explosive safety, demining COR for the entire country of Afghanistan. We are doing an exceptional job providing safety and support for the Afghan people. We are here to help clear the area of explosives, mines, and any other UXO threat that's out there. There is a lot of work to be done. It's up to the Corps engineers and our contractors to clear the area safely and as quickly as we can. Peter Coe, Baltimore District. America's building a lot of bases in Afghanistan. We don't have the labor to do it ourselves, so we have to farm it out to companies, local Afghan companies, get most of the labor or provide most of the labor. We're giving people a future. We're building a democracy. We're building institutions. The Taliban, they didn't give people a freedom of choice, freedom, freedom of thought. We can do that. It's a struggle, it's an effort, but we can do that, and we are, we're doing that. We're not only providing the infrastructure for the future of Afghanistan, but we're providing locals with jobs, money, cash in their pocket, culture of uh, our construction culture with their construction culture, and they'll be able to take that with them in the future. It's a good feeling being a part of something bigger than yourself, being part of the future of Afghanistan, uh, and I look forward to being back in Baltimore in six months. My name is Kabuchi Anderson from Baltimore District working here in Afghanistan at Bagram as a resident engineer.
just like to say hi to all my friends and folks out in Baltimore. Uh, looking forward to you coming and joining our team. Afghanistan district, including me, actually volunteered to come here for this mission. You can peel off the different pages of it. Really cool. Where do you live? Very proud. I feel like you're doing some real good for another country that's trying to achieve democracy. A lot of progress in a very short amount of time, which is not common in, uh, in stateside projects. The Afghanistan Engineer District has a $2 billion construction program this year for FY09, and it's just amazing the things that we're doing to support and rebuild this country. Being an engineer, you know, we build things, and, and Afghanistan needs a lot of reconstruction. So while we're here, we're, we're building relationships with the Afghan people, we're building engineers, we're um, helping them so that they can start building their own country one day. Throughout the country, we were building A and A bases, which was one of my major projects. Where it was just open desert just a couple years ago. Now there's dozens of buildings and thousands of troops. The facilities that we're building and the roads that we're building are going to have a lasting impact on the security uh, and the stability of Afghanistan. We know that it's going to eventually make Afghanistan a much safer place. This is my third deployment and uh, it's been better each time. It's exciting to see the completion of projects that were begun five years ago. When I first came here, I didn't know that much about construction, but I learned so much here getting thrown into this position. Could have stayed in North Carolina, but I think we're all responsible for our country's freedom. And if, if people like me and, and uh, some of the others that are here uh, don't do their part and we won't have a place. We won't have a place to go home. Working on rebuilding this country and it's worth it. Bottom line message is our investments here in rebuilding the infrastructure of Afghanistan are worth it. It's a team effort. You take people from all across the country and, and all across the world and you come together as a team and, and you get accomplish great tasks and great things. Yeah. We are helping the Afghan people. To learn about each other and see how much similarities there are between our two countries and to bring understanding that, that we're all the same. to make a difference. I would challenge you to look at any other organization and say that they're making a bigger difference than Afghanistan Engineer District. The facilities that we're building, the impact that they're having on the people's lives, pushing back the Taliban, pushing back the extremists, bringing security, safety, economic benefits, governance, all these key things, the foundation of all that is the work that Afghanistan Engineer District is doing. And you just can't, uh, you can't make a bigger difference than that. Now that many of you, I hope, are considering 
serving your country and getting this great developmental experience for yourself, the question is, where do you go from here? Of course, the North Atlantic Division SharePoint portal does have information on how you can volunteer and what the steps and procedures are. But the best bet is to go see a human resources professional that works in your area office or your district not far away from you. And while you're doing that, in every office in the Army Corps of Engineers, there are volunteers that have already done this who can give you a lot of good tips, guidance, and share with you their personal experiences and rewards from providing such service. Thank you for listening.